might have been a formality, but China's approval for sweeping electoral reforms in Hong Kong is now a reality. The city's chief executive is a strong advocate of Beijing's tighter control. The changes drastically curb democratic representation. Live to Roland Lim in just a moment for reaction. But first, a look at what the new measures are and the impact they'll have. The radical overhaul of Hong Kong's electoral system was endorsed by China's National People's Congress. A key part of the shakeup, the creation of a vetting body to screen candidates ahead of elections. Those deemed to be a national security threat or not loyal enough to Beijing will be barred. Leaders from the mainland are also slashing the number of directly elected politicians, while the size of the legislature will increase. The purpose of um, the uh, improvements to the electoral system is to make sure that um, Hong Kong's electoral uh, system is in line with the very important principle of one country, two systems, and to ensure that it is patriots administering Hong Kong. The city's leader announced that Hong Kong expects to hold Legislative Council elections in December, well after the bill is passed by the end of May. Under the new law, the city's legislature will be expanded from 70 to 90 seats, but only 20 of those seats will now be elected by the public, down from 35. The majority, 40 seats, will be chosen by a pro-Beijing committee. The remaining 30 seats will go to trade-based groups that have also been historically loyal to Beijing. On top of that, all 117 district council seats in the election committee have been scrapped. The body was previously in charge of picking the city's chief executive. The measures are seen as Beijing's latest bid to snuff out opposition to its rule, after huge democracy protests swept the city in recent years. Roland Lim joins us live from Hong Kong. So Beijing says that the electoral reforms are more democratic? Yeah. Uh, the case that the government uh, in Hong Kong is making that it will be an improved electoral system because it uh, uh, covers uh, up the various loopholes that radical uh, politicians have tried to derail uh, the electoral as well as the political process in Hong Kong, and that this will also ensure that the Patriots administration in Hong Kong uh, is in place. Remember, uh, Beijing has said that that is a prerequisite, uh, Patriots running Hong Kong or administrating Hong Kong, a prerequisite to the proper running of the one country, two, two, one country, two systems principle uh, that Hong Kong is governed under. We've also heard from the Beijing liaison office who say that the electoral reform package will be a more balanced and more democratic system for Hong Kong because it benefits the city in the long term. They argue that patriots running Hong Kong will mean that there will no longer be infighting within the legislative council, no radicals trying to derail the legislative council process, and that then Finally, the city can get down to tackling its deep-rooted economic problems as well as livelihood issues. Uh, we've also heard uh, from uh, the DAB party, that's Hong Kong's biggest political party. They welcome the expansion uh, of the 40 seats in the Legislative Council elections, uh, saying that this will, uh, be, will have a more balanced participation, they say, because they say that this will avoid populism, especially when it comes to the direct votes within the legislature. And of course, safeguard that uh, patriots running Hong Kong, a policy that Beijing has in place. However, the opposition, uh, the Democratic Party, says that the whole electoral reform process has been flawed and basically regresses the 20 years of slow uh, democratic reforms that have already been put into place. Now, Roland, we know the reforms revolve around the term patriots. Does this mean big trouble for the uh, opposition? Well, Chief Executive Carrie Lam, when she was speaking to the public today during a press conference, was at pains uh, to say that uh, this new electoral reform package is not to quell the opposition voices uh, within uh, Hong Kong's political parties, but rather 
to weed out the non-patriots. Uh, what Hong Kong defines as being a patriot is that they will pledge allegiance to the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region, that they will uphold the basic law, that's Hong Kong's mini constitution, and that they will not endanger the national security uh, of the country and, of course, safeguard uh, China's uh, sovereignty. So these are the definitions of a patriot. And uh, for that to happen, uh, they will be, of course, uh, be introducing a new candidate eligible. Uh, I have to say this because uh, I probably will stumble again. Uh, uh, candidate eligibility uh, review committee. Uh, that's going to be an all-powerful committee because they will get to vet anyone who wants to hold public office, either in the form of a ch uh, chief executive race or even the legislative council race, or even. Uh, you know, uh, running of the top bureaus in the government themselves. So uh, what they are trying to do really is to make sure that the system runs well. And then the chief executive says, if all things go well, gradually, there could even be, of course, universal suffrage Hong Kong style. Remember, they might be returning to the uh, possibility of offering two to three candidates as chief executive uh, in a race uh, that it would be now vetted, of course, with the new system in place, now vetted by this review committee before uh, handing over these three candidates to the general public at large to vote uh, in possibly either the, the, the not the next election because the next chief executive race happens in March, but possibly the one after that. Thanks very much for tracking all those developments. Roland Lim there.